Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your talent points for war. All right, to get the best possible outcome. The whole whole idea is to have the least dead and wounded troops possible while killing the most of the enemy's troops. All right, so before you set up your talent points, you want to put on your war equipment. I'll go over the equipment in the next video, but put on your equipment, then you're going to go to you're going to click on this little th thing here and you're going to look at your stats. Check out Okay, I've got 300% cavalry attack, 287 ranged, and 275% infantry attack. So that means I need to have more points in uh, infantry attack. Okay, I feel that I need to have all three of these as even as possible because I have all three types of troops. And I have an equipment sent that's built for all three types of troop. Being fr free to play, it's hard to get good equipment, so I focus on one set. Alright, so I try and get everything pretty good. So I'll see that my infantry needs a little more than the rest. So now I'm going to go to my talents, alright, and I'm going to show you how to set those. And I'm just going to do a fake reset here, so as you'll see, I don't have any talent selected. So what you want to do is unlock unlock all the way till you get to the bottom. Now if you don't have enough talent points yet because you're a lower level, all right. This may not apply to you yet, but it will at some point. The very bottom re or, uh, the very bottom of the tree is the most important. As you'll see, I'm just unlocking everything until I get down to the bottom. Unlock. All right, so everything I need is now unlocked. But if you'll see, this one will give me 53% attack damage compared to let's show you one of the top higher ones. This one will only give me 7%. So you want to do the bottom ones first. The bottom ones give you the most benefit. Okay, so unlock everything all the way to the bottom. Now the first thing you want to do is squad health. Health is the most important out of all of these. So I'm going to max out squad health. Now I'm going to go up to find the next squad health. Squad health 1. I'm going to max that out. And now I'm going to start on attack. Okay, the very first one, this gives me attack for all of my troop types. So I'm going to max him out. All right. And I think that's it for now. So I've got my squad health <clears throat> and my squad attack all maxed out. So the next thing I'm going to do is I've got 166 points left. So I'm going to put all of the rest of this into attack. Alright, so I'm going to fill up 45 here. So I'm going to max out range defense 3. I'm going to max out cavalry offense 3. And now I'm going to max out infantry offense 3. And since I have less points in my infantry attack than the others, Say I'm going to go to Infantry Offense 2, and I'm going to max this one out. Right now I would actually go back <clears throat> and I would look at my points again and do a little bit at a time. But just for to make this video shorter, this will, I mean, this gives you the basic idea of what you need. Alright, so my range was a little less than my uh, cavalry. <clears throat> So I'm going to max this one out. Now I've only got one point left. So let's just say I'm going to put that into Calvary Offense. Okay, this is just a generic rundown. You've got to figure out where you want the attack points. So the bottom line is unlock everything to the bottom. Alright, max out squad health. You'll notice I did not put anything in squad defense. Defense is almost worthless. Health, alright, we did a lot of testing on this. 
the defense did very little. All right, health did a lot and attack did a lot. So you want to do a health first or hit points. It's the same thing, but they call it different things for some reason. Health and hit points are the same. Max those out first. Then your attack. All right. So after you have all of the health maxed out, the rest of your points go into attack. All right. So unlock everything to the bottom. Max out health. Max out health. Max out squad offense. And all the rest of your points go into cavalry, infantry, and ranged attack. Don't put them anywhere else for war. You don't need the defense. It's all health and attack. Okay? This will give you the absolute best results. Now I'll explain to you how we tested this. All right? The first thing we did is we cleared out all of the talent points. We put 50% into defense and we attacked somebody's camp. Okay? And we noted how many dead and wounded and killed we had. So the next thing we did is we cleared that out and we put 50% points in the health. Okay? So after we had 50% points into health, the same person put out in a camp camp with the exact same lineup and we attacked it with the exact same lineup. We killed a lot more troops and we had a lot less dead and injured. It was a huge difference compared to the defense that barely did anything. With defense we had a small handful of troops that less wounded or dead. With health we had a lot of troops, a lot more survived. So next we cleared out defense and we put put 50% in the range, cavalry and infantry attack. Okay, so we attacked the same exact thing again with the exact same lineup and we killed a whole lot more troops and we had less dead and injured. Not as much less, okay, we had more sur the most survived with health. So you want to have the least dead possible, I would imagine. At least I know I do. So health is the very first thing I, I look for. Then attack. And lastly, defense. Okay? <laughs> now when it comes to this other stuff, I mean, this is all fine and dandy. You might need this at some other point. But, okay, I'm not actually going to save this set. This was just to show you how to set it up. Cancel. Okay. So you'll see, this is how I have mine set currently. Alright, I have, I don't have as much in infantry or, or as in ranged. I got cavalry maxed out. See, I set this a while ago. I do need to, I do need to put a little more into my infantry. But that's fine, you know. <laughs> So that's pretty much the deal. Max out your health. Put the rest into attack. Very simple, all right? You're going to want to have two sets of training training two sets of talents, all right? Your first set is war, which I just showed you here, and then you're going to have your economy set for training speed, researches, build and resources. And you do have to switch back and forth, all right? So every time I have to go into battle, I make sure I switch into this set of talents. Now I also have something called quick swap in my research. So I have two sets of talent points saved. Now unfortunately quick 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 swap still requires you to use a reset, but anytime I want to switch points, all right, if I want to go into war, all I have to do is hit apply. And then they'll ask me if I want to use a talent reset, and I say yes. And then it takes me to my save set of battle talents. When I want to go into economy talents, all I got to do is hit apply and use a set of a talent reset, and I'm in my economy talents. So that quick swap is a nice thing to uh, research just to save a little time when you want to switch, but it does not save you talent resets. I only have 
re research for two things. This is all I need. I have a talent, a battle set, and I have a grow and train set for training troops, research speed, and all the other good stuff. So, that's how I do it. That's how I set up my talents, and that's how you should also set up your talents. Alrighty, hope you guys like this video.